Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have you the review of the new Levage Water Fresh Complexion Touch. Not only that, I'm going to compare it side by side with the Levage Water Fresh Tint. So if you want to know all the details, the difference, if there's any difference, then just keep on watching. About 10 days or two weeks ago, I uploaded my Chanel Levage 2022 collection review. And on that video, I mentioned it that Chanel was not only going to launch the new water fresh tint blushes, which by the way, I already have a full on review comparison swatches of all the six different shades. I know. I I purchased all the six different shades. Anyhow, the review is up here on my channel. I will leave it perhaps on the cards or it will be on the description box below. I also have a Chanel playlist here on my channel. So anyhow, I mentioned it also that Chanel was going to come with what it seems like a new concealer. And yes, they dropped it. It is the new Water Fresh Complexion touch and this right here is a take of the water fresh tint which i have it right here it seems to have just a little bit of a difference and that's why i was thinking you know let's do a side by side comparison on my face let's see what's the main difference this product right here costs 65 dollars it comes with 20 ml this one right here comes with 30 ml this one is made in france same as this right here is made in france 65 dollars now this new one comes with 16 different shades, which is a lot more generous than the classic Water Fresh Tint, which comes with a more narrow amount of shades. This one actually has a lot more undertones too. There's red undertones, beige, yellow. I mean, there's a lot more to choose from. I know 16 shades doesn't sound as much, but if you are not familiar with this kind of collection, it's basically for that very light makeup kind of look situation. It's nothing like for full coverage. It's more of kind of like a tinted moisturizer, something along those lines. The promises of this new Water Fresh Complexion Touch is that it's lightweight, it will even out your skin tone, also it will give you a lot of hydration, and it will leave you with a veil of full coverage, which it sounds kind of weird, a veil of full coverage. I think what it means is how lightweight it is, but obviously we will see as we apply it. It also has the same technology as the Water Fresh Tint, which is the micro droplet pigments suspended in water. This one right here has 65% of water, while this one right here has 75% of water. So there's a little bit of difference in that regards, I assume because on this one right here, you're getting more pigments. As far as coverage, it says that it's a natural buildable coverage. This one, I find out that also is very natural, is buildable coverage, but you cannot get it to medium or full coverage. It's just very perfecting, but very, very lightweight and very natural. So anyhow, friends, I know you came here to see them in action. So here you go, this is the Unicar very typical for Chanel Levage collection. As far as the actual component goes, this is it. Now this is heavy plastic, it's not glass. You have the CC logo cap on the top. And as you can tell right here, it has all the micro droplets. You can see all the little droplets of pigment in there. And also this product comes with a little brush which is more of like a dense consistency, but not super packed. It ends kind of like in a almost taper kind of end. Super soft, has that Chanel logo also. So this is the way it comes. You get complexion touch and also the brush. Now, as far as we compare it with a water fresh tint, like I said, this comes with 20 mLs, this one with 30 mLs. There's somewhat of a difference right there. And as far as the brush goes, this one also comes with a brush. And this is it. This is the brush of the water tint. Same kind of bristles, just a different shade. This looks a lot more for something 
like I will use to do a concealer type of job. Let's go ahead and start with the application here. Open it up, you have a nice bump. And then let's see how the consistency goes. So just put one drop right there. Let's do two drops. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but I got the shade B30. I fluctuate with Chanel between the shade B30 during winter months and B40. But while I was checking the shade with my essay, she showed me the comparison and it looks like this product right here, it's a little bit deeper in tone, like quite deeper actually. And then on the water fresh tint, I use the shade medium. As you can tell, the fresh water tint is a lot more runny. I think you can definitely tell that the complexion touch, it does have more coverage, not by much, but a little bit more than the water fresh tint. I'm gonna let it sit and dry right here and then we will see it in a few minutes to see the difference. But now I'm gonna apply these products onto my face. I'm gonna go with the water fresh complexion touch on this side of my face and then the water fresh tint on my left hand side. I'm using a full pump. And you can definitely spread it with your fingers, but I really want to use the brush that is included. Okay, I do have a ton of freckles, I do have sunspots too. And this gave me a very light layer that kind of like perfects my skin. Yeah, here it looks a little bit more even. Here you can still see just a little bit of the redness. Okay, now let's go with the water fresh tint. And also I'm going to use a pump. Now you can break the little pigments on your face while rubbing it or you can do it on the side too or in a little dish now can you tell the difference I think I can tell the difference. There's a tad, like a very, very little amount of additional coverage on this side than on this side. Not by a whole lot, but there is. It's still on that very natural, fresh makeup look. Now I'm gonna be using the Water Fresh Complexion Touch as a concealer underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna spot conceal like areas like these sun spots right here and see how it does uh, doing so. And I'm gonna use, like I said, a little dish and just do one pump. And I'm gonna go ahead and just break out the droplets. And using the same brush that it comes with, I'm gonna use it again, kind of like to conceal, spot conceal certain areas.
Can I use it just a little bit more? Like a quarter of a pump. A little droplet right there. I'm gonna try to conceal this little spot right here. Now that you have seen it kind of like it's a targeted concealer kind of situation like a touch up let's go ahead and build up this side right here and I'm gonna use just the same but I'm gonna go for another full pump just that much I'm trying to really do a demarcation line right here so you can really see the coverage that this will give. We still have just a little bit more right here. It's not a lot. Let's see if this will do for my forehead. And I'm using a little bit more also on my under eye circles. Now, as far as setting, there's just a little bit of transfer, not a lot just a little and then as far as the shade I think they are very comparable I think I did good at selecting if you have that water fresh tint in medium I will say B30 on that complexion touch will be a comparable match right here although I will have to say that B30 it does have a little bit of a doré kind of like undertone to it. And then as far as finish goes, I feel that the finish is very natural, extremely lightweight, almost imperceptible. The coverage mm, is shy to be medium coverage when built it. It's shy at that. Done with my makeup, all the details of what I use today, as far, again, makeup, nail polish, jewelry, whatever you want, everything will be on the description box below. Now let's go here into my final thoughts, first impressions about this new product from Chanel, the Water Fresh Complexion Touch. Definitely at building it up, it builds up the coverage, but I mean, let's be honest, I do have a ton of freckles, I do have you know sun spots here and there and this is like I said very shy to be a medium coverage kind of product to me it's a light coverage product light to medium if building it up as a concealer for me under the eye area definitely not because I do have very dark under eye circles 
very blue dark and dry circles. So I usually have to go with a color corrector, which I usually use also the one from Chanel, and then a concealer too. So for me, it will not really work if I really want to, you know, cover that area, but kind of like on a spot concealer, yes, it will. Now, I really love the product as much as I love the water fresh tint because of how lightweight it is. It's just so natural. It makes your skin look just not dewy, not, um, not glowy, but it just makes it look super healthy. It doesn't look super makeup-y, and that's the beauty of all these products. Now, here you get less product but more pigment yet is i mean i think you were able to see the difference between these two products is minimal with these you may need three pumps to achieve the coverage of this product right here and then in terms of like okay well this comes with 30 mls and this one comes with 20 mls i mean at the end i think it evens it out. It's not like the difference is just way, way too much, but I think you were able to see that definitely there's more pigmentation with this one right here. I, I can tell here on my hand. I mean, there's no doubt about it. There is more pigmentation to it. Not a ton, but more subtle, just a touch. And I think if you have liked this product quite a bit, but at certain times, perhaps you really do not want to go with a foundation, but you just want a little bit more coverage or even touch it up with a brush in certain areas, definitely this comes in handy. Definitely this will be ideal if you're traveling or commuting and you don't want to take such a, you know, big size right here. Absolutely. Definitely this will work. I really love the brush. Actually, I thought at first, well, yeah, but you know what? It's compact, not too dense, but it's compact enough and it's pointed that really you can target at certain areas. Now, how well does into concealing, like for example, right here, my dark spots, is not a true concealer. Let's put it at that. It's not a true concealer, but nonetheless, it's beautiful. I think the skin looks just at its best. And this is what Chanel really knows how to do well. Just make your complexion look non-heavy, lightweight in terms of makeup, just perfect it, give it enough that it actually give a very elegant finish to the skin. That's, that's the beauty of Chanel makeup is the elegance of the makeup itself, how everything turns out all together. To me, it's a great lunch. I really love that also you get more shades with it. Again, easy to travel, very convenient, more shades, more undertones. What's not to like about it? Now, my friends, I will really love to know from you. Do you are able to really see a difference between both products? Do you see whether there's more pigmentation on one side than the other? Let's just continue the conversation on the comment section down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.